new horizon and a day and all came true Keller Williams you make dreams come true You're tuned to Russ McClellan and Friends on the Real Estate Show, Home Sweet Home. Let's get back to Russ. Hey, welcome back to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and Friends. I'm with my man Luke Grohn, my partner Keller Williams, and Taylor Stimmel, my friend and CEO, team leader, man in charge of our growth here at Keller Williams. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us today. Absolutely. It's great to be on. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Sounds like we're a bunch of salesmen selling Keller Williams today. <laughs> it was a great year. I mean, I don't think it's selling when you're, we're inviting. We're inviting. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the reality is if you're content and you're happy, then great. You know, if you're selling widgets and you're, you love being a widget salesman and life's good, then power to you. I'm not here to judge anybody. That's not what I'm trying to convey. I think what we're trying to do is say that there's options. And when you feel like there's no options financially because of whatever, you can either decide to control things or you can decide to stay focused on the things you can't control. Real estate is simply an avenue. Like Taylor said, we have a lot of uh, couples that one person was working a full-time job so the other person could try real estate. And the reality is we can give you their cell phone numbers. This is not BS. Now they're both in real estate and they got rid of the job they didn't want, both of them. These are success stories by people that have taken control of their life. It did not happen naturally, meaning they couldn't just go through the motions and do what they've always done to expect something different than they've always gotten. That isn't how this works. You have to decide you want to change something. Then you have to find somebody to help you with a process and then you focus on the process. You don't focus on the 24 miles that you got to run. You focus on that first step. Maybe focus on getting to the mailbox from your front door and back today. And maybe tomorrow you go one step further. Well, with Keller Williams, we can accelerate that through systems, models, tools, and technology. Technology is by far the most what could I say, guys? What's the, what's the word for technology? It's the fundamental foundation, maybe, next to honesty. I mean, yeah, yeah no, especially moving forward. And things change so quickly. Uh, you know, real estate changes incredibly quickly. And with, with uh, the onset of new technologies, you know, we're, we're forced to um, change with it. Yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, Gary Keller, the founder of Keller Williams, the corporation, grew his company to the largest on planet Earth. They had the biggest year in the history of their company. They were founded, what, 1983, right? About three years ago, he said, here's what's going to happen. There's going to be these companies, not to name names, but Zillow and other companies that said they'd never get into the real estate company and just pay me a lot of money to market your real estate. Well, lo and behold, they're in real estate now. And he said that, you know, one day, not that far into the distant future, you're going to be either a, an agent that is going to Use technology to enable your business at a, the highest and most efficient way possible, which in large part means bring down the expenses for yourself, right? What used to cost thousands now costs hundreds. Or you're going to be uh, a company that is enabling tech companies to put you out of business, and you'll become what's called a functionary, not a fiduciary, meaning they'll pay you 20 bucks to open a door for the tech company located in Chicago. Happens to have a hub in Seattle. This is reality, right? I mean, the world is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. However, we now have a thing called command that he spent about a billion dollars on. Now, did it work day one when we first got introduced to it perfectly? No. But name one piece of advanced technology. Look at your phone. Is it the same phone you had five years ago? Ten years ago? I mean, I was sold. I started with the big brick. It's changed, right? Things change. It didn't work very well. You had crappy service and it was $700 a minute. Right back in the day, 
It's a lot different now. Analog. I was back when it was all analog. <laughs> yeah. It's the same year that I paid like, I don't even know how much, thousands for a 256K kilobyte computer. <laughs> 256 KB. I think it was lightning fast. Yeah, IBM, man. The big blue company came out with it. So my point is this, that things evolve. And what Keller Williams is, is, is truly about is a company for agents, by agents. That means that you're part of the partnership. When you join our firm, it's not top-down management. It's not the designated broker owner, typical 50-50 split. It's not that at all. You can get to 100%. We had one person in our firm. I think it took him seven hours <laughs> to get to 100%. It's only because it took him so long to write the offer. I yeah, think he could have done it even faster. I don't faster. even know how he does so much. But, you know, that's not for everybody. There's people that are just in real estate part-time. If you live in Leavenworth and Chelan and you're a server at a restaurant, Post COVID, <laughs> you should have a real estate license because you can just simply refer people and get twenty five percent of the commission. Try to imagine a you know a million dollar home on Lake Chelan that generates thirty thousand dollar commission, and all of a sudden you're getting twenty five percent of that just for throwing somebody a name while you're doing your day job. If you're in the hospitality business, you should have a real estate license. If you're a plumber, you should have a real estate license. Where do you think I'll end in this these examples? Everyone should have a real estate. <laughs> Everyone license. should have a real estate. It takes 90 hours and like 500 bucks. And you can have unlimited possibilities. Let me ask you this, guys. Part of what is cool about having 70 plus people on our way to 100 in 2021, there's only 400 agents licensed in the entire association. Of those, of those only 297 did a deal in the last 12 months. And we had 77% of our people do a deal. We're a large percentage of that already. And when we get to 100, we're going to be a bigger percentage of that. We're going to have a profit sharing model of 49%, giving back to our brokers. It's not a multi-level marketing campaign or anything like that. You know, although there have been millionaires made that way. This is just about bonusing people that helped us grow our company and helped us make money in a given month. It's monthly profit sharing. So it's legitimate. I know it is. Luke, you're my partner. You know it is because the money leaves our account and goes somewhere else. Yep. And then it shows up on the 21st of the month in their bank accounts. I remember when old Sean Hine had his first check. It was like 450 bucks. He's like, I don't know what happened. I think I got paid and I don't want to have to give it back. So, so yeah, no, I talked to some agents too. I didn't realize it was just automatically positive when it first came on. What's all this money doing in my account? It just mysteriously showed up. Is this a mistake? And, and the interesting part of that that I always get asked in this, this is not your money. This is Russ and Luke and Kelly's money that they are giving back, right? You get to keep your money. Even when you have 100%, you're keeping 100% of your money. They're not getting to keep 100%. They're giving back to the agents, right? So that's what, to me, that's one of the, the, the coolest things about Keller Williams that's just a bonus, right? And I think that uh, if you really look at it, we want everyone here to succeed and everyone to take part in that. And that's why we want so many people. That's why Russ says, if you're in any other type of business, you can do this business. And I know that it scares people out there in real estate. They're like, oh, they're just trying to get people and put them in there. No, you are competing against people right now in your office. You are competing against people out there from the West side. Why not compete against them in our office, because we still compete against each other, but yet when somebody else in the office makes that deal, that adds to the profit share, right? At your office, that doesn't add to the profit share, it adds to the, pro the owner's pocket, right? So that's the difference. You're gonna compete against these people no matter where they are. So when we have them in our house in, at the Keller Williams family, they're competing to actually add to that profit share as well that you get a share in. So that's a huge difference to me that other people don't have. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to keep being learning based. And I want you to know this, if, you're, if you've never been in the real estate business, never thought about it before, that when you join day one, you, it's not like a learning curve. It's not like you're going to work for a Fortune 500 company and you got to work your way up the ladder for 25 years to get to a position that makes real money. You're in the same exact position as somebody like me that's been in the business for 30 plus years. You could make more money than I do in your first year. I know this because a lot of our agents make more money than I do. <laughs> that's, an, that's awesome. I mean, I love that. To be able to be in a position where I can help change the lives and everybody can grab the, the horns the way they want to grab the horns and ride the bull the way they want to ride the bull. I mean, that is what it's about. It's your business. You are self-employed. All we're going to do is give you the path, give you the tools, give you the technology. It's going to be a whopping 25 bucks a month. So you're going to have to stop two lattes and a pizza. That's how this works. You got to sacrifice two lattes and a pizza. 
to come on board. It's going to cost about five, 600 bucks to get your license. You can go to rockwellinstitute.com. Better yet, why don't you give us a call? I'm going to give you the number. So if you know of somebody that needs to be in real estate right now to help change their future of them or their families, or you feel this way, write this down. 888 0038. 888-0038. Call us. Taylor Stimmel will take the call. I'll take the call. Luke will take the call. Kelly will take the call. Whoever answers the phone. I'm going to say it again. I'd give you 71 testimonials by giving you 71 cell phone numbers. Do you know another company that the owner would say that? That's legit. I don't. Because <laughs> nobody else has that many agents either. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's just not. Yeah. I mean, my point is that it's just, it's legit, man. I mean, what we're doing here is traction. And try to imagine that we've done this in our just our second full calendar year. We literally are getting better at the job as we go on because we're learning based. And my point about all these people coming on, whether it was, you know, my man, the, the original gangster, Seth Stevens, who was 18 years old when he came on board, hadn't even graduated high school yet. First guy in the history of the state of Washington, right? To do it without a diploma at that time. I've learned from him. Luke learns from me. I learned from Luke. Taylor learns from Luke. Everybody learns from each other. Right. We even learn from our producer, JP, when we get in trouble for pounding on the desk or when someone's yelling outside of our office because we have a big gala going on. So we're always in trouble. But being in trouble is part of the friction. Without friction, you're stagnant. Without failure, you're not trying. Nobody is perfect. Lose the ego. When people judge you, typically in your, fr your friends and family judge you the most because they care about you the most and they don't want you to fall on your face. But 2020 proved to me that the man working for the company had more risk, inherent risk in COVID because they fired you without your permission in some cases than being in real estate and self-employed. I care about you. I want you to do well. So does Taylor. So does Luke. I appreciate you tuning in. We'll be back in just a few minutes with my man, Michael Maher and Prime Lending. Post-2020, this will be the biggest year you've ever had in your life. You just have to decide it right now. Talk to you in a few minutes.